On the build show today, we're talking plumbing and specifically why I've been using PEX for many years. On the build show today, we're gonna to be talking about PEX plumbing and why I've chosen this for most of my builds. But let me back up a minute. You know, there's really three main plumbing systems in American houses. Copper, the gold standard, been around forever. A lot of builders swear by it. If we have a zombie apocalypse, you're still gonna be able to get copper fittings afterwards. Impressive system, a lot of builders won't use anything but. Number two, CPVC. A lot of production builders have moved to this. Much less uh, cost initially than copper, certainly less commodity based than copper. Uh, I used it for quite a few years actually when I built in the Northeast and had good success with it. However, the last 15 years or so, I've used almost exclusively PEX. Now there's three different flavors of PEX, PEX A, B, and C. We're gonna talk a little bit about those today, but this is not an ad, I'm not being sponsored by anybody, I'm just trying to give you good information on both the positives and a few negatives from all these plumbing systems. So let's get right into it. PEX, originally developed in the late 60s in Germany, came to the European market in 1972, the year of my birth, used extensively throughout America. The biggest reason why people have moved from copper to PEX in particular is cost. Much less expensive piping than copper, and fittings and labor are gonna generally be less than copper as well. So overall, you're gonna get a less expensive build by switching to PEX compared to copper. Now certainly there are some benefits and there's a couple downsides. Let's run through all the benefits first of PEX. Number one, really long runs. Look how flexible this pipe is. We can fit this pipe, we can home run things in all kinds of ways to snake through the house. And in particular, the shower right behind me is a good example. We're going here from the fixture right here. We're snaking all the way up to a rain head above me. And I just have a fitting here and at the rain head. And the same with the shower on the opposite wall from the controller. One fitting here, we're snaking all the way through the ceiling, and then we've got another fitting over there. Now, reduced fittings means better reliability, but it also means that we're gonna have less pressure drop. Because we can bend this, we can sweep that water in there, we're not gonna have all the bends that we're gonna have in a copper or a CPVC system. And every time we get a bend, we've got some potential for pressure drop and reduced flow. Now, as we're talking about this, I wanna point you to uh, kind of the godfather of hot water systems and distribution, Gary Klein. He's got some great articles. I'll link to at least one of those in the description below. He's, he's the guy that's really gonna help you do the architecture on your plumbing system. And in fact, he makes a claim that you can get hot water almost anywhere in your house without wasting more than one or two cups of water down the drain before it gets hot. Very impressive guy, and I, I like to follow his practices. Another big benefit of these flexible systems like PEX is you're gonna have much less water hammer in your system. When your washing machine starts and stops filling, when you turn off a faucet really quickly, that water hammer can translate into pipe movement hitting the framing in your house, and that's called water hammer. You get much, much less of that with a flexible pipe. Next big benefit of PEX compared to copper in particular is that you're not gonna get calcium deposits sticking to your PEX where that can happen with copper. You need to be cautious about those pipes squeezing down over time when you've got metal piping in your house. Okay, and the last big benefit that I like about PEX compared to some other systems is the ability to withstand some freeze. You know, this PEX piping, because it's got some amount of elasticity, we could have frozen water in this line. The pipe could expand without bursting or without cracking, whereas if you get a frozen pipe when it comes to CPVC or copper, you're gonna get a leak, you're gonna get a burst. So there's some definite benefits here. And as well, because of that same flexibility we talked about, if we were to get a kink, we get too tight of a bend right here, we can actually get that kink out of your PVC by adding some heat here. All right, so now that we've talked about the benefits, what are the downsides? You know, there are, if you read the internet, of course, there's lots of horror stories about PEX. I don't believe most of those, but there is a certain amount of risk when you're using a PEX system. It's possible that the companies that make the fittings could go out of business someday and it'd be harder to get a fitting. You also probably have some amount of risk of using a plastic fitting in your water supply system, especially if your municipality uses too much chlorine in the water. Chlorine can break down PEX. But I'll tell you, I've been using it for 15 years now. I actually used it in a production builder setting before I started my own company 12 years ago. I was building several hundred houses a year with PEX, and I only had one fitting leak over that period of time where we were building hundreds of houses on PEX. 
So generally speaking, I found very, very good reliability, and I've never had a complaint about water taste or any of the issues that you might read about on the internet. I'm a big fan of PEX. I think it's a great system. Let's transition now, and I want to show you how the fittings work on two different PEX systems. All right, let me show you how these fittings work. And as we're working on these fittings, I'm going to tell you a couple benefits of the two different styles. So first, this is a PEX B style pipe. And this, is, this happens to be the brand name from Viega. Here's how this one works. We're going to slip this collar over. And then the fitting itself is going to come in until there's some nipples on there that get it to stop. And once we've got that, we're going to use our crimping tool. So that's going to go right in the jaws of the crimping tool. And then this is going to ratchet down. Got to use a little force on there. And then once you get it to the point where it's released, you know it's been set. There we go. Very impressive system. As I mentioned, I've been using, in particular, this style of PEX for many years. And I've only had one uh, fitting failure after many hundreds of houses being built. And I'm sure it was an install error. Very impressive. Okay, so that's Viega. Now let's do PEX A, which happens to be Upinor, and that's what I'm using on this house. Now I got turned on to this particular style of PEX from a very smart client uh, who felt like this had a lot of benefits, and I'll tell you, I've really liked this particular type of PEX. PEX A by Upinor. Here's how the fittings work. Oops, almost did it wrong. You got to throw the fitting on first, uh, and you're going to push that uh, on to the, uh, not the fitting, I'm sorry, the collar rather onto the pipe, and there, again, there's a stop on there. And then I happen to have, instead of the manual method, the uh, automatic one. This is by Milwaukee. This cone is gonna go in here, and it's gonna expand the pipe. So instead of crimping down on a piece of metal, we're actually gonna use the pipe itself to hold the fitting on. I'm gonna hold the trigger down, and, and, uh, and we're gonna show you how this works. So what this is doing is this is expanding the pipe and the collar. We're going to do it all the way until the collar goes back to the base of the tool. Okay, now we're going to shove our fitting in there all the way to the stop. And then you're going to see this is just going to shrink up over the next couple of seconds here. And that's what I like about this Upinor system is now we don't have a metal that's crimping. It's the pipe memory itself uh, clamping down over these barbs and making this watertight connection. Very cool. Now the Upinor is PEX A, the most flexible of the pipes compared to the very stiff uh, PEX B. It's also more expensive. Interestingly enough, the Upinor is kind of the most expensive one in the marketplace. But one thing I noticed on this job, which I think was one of my client's big uh, things that he liked about it, was these fittings. Let's take a look at these. Here's two right here we can show you. This is a three-quarter T in Upinor and a three-quarter T in Viega. And because that pipe is expanding, check out the opening size. This is really cool, and this kind of sells me on PEX A over PEX B. If you zoom in and look at that, on this one here, this is the Viega. It's really kind of uh, the outside diameter is three-quarters of an inch because it's got to slip into the fitting, which means the inside diameter is at least an eighth smaller, whereas the Upinor, the, the inside diameter is the actual dimension, and then the outside collar is bigger, so the pipe expands and then contracts down to it. So these are both three-quarter T's, and look at that diameter size. I think you're going to ultimately get less pressure drop in an Upinor PEX A type system than you would in this PEX B or Viega. Guys, thanks for joining me as we talked about plumbing systems today. A lot of information. We got into the weeds. Hopefully you had a good time. Comment below. I know this video is going to get a lot of heated comments because people like their particular systems. I want to hear about what you like about your particular system or what you maybe don't like about the system that I'm using. Also, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. New content every Tuesday and every Friday. Check out Jordan Smith on his channel as well. He's now on his own channel uploading new content every single Thursday, talking about metal fabrication, architectural steelwork, and some other cool stuff. And, of course, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.